Hi, it's the Irish Gypsy here to bring you your July 2016 mid-month readings. I apologize for getting the last uh, five or so out later. I had some people come in from out of the country a little sooner than expected, so it's thrown my schedule into a little bit of a chaos. Uh, but I'm trying to fit them in as best as I can. So thank you for your patience and thank you all of you for continuing to watch and listen and subscribe to my channel. Your love and feedback and support uh, means so much to me. I'm grateful for it. Thank you so very much and also for the comments and the feedback, particularly those of you who take the time to write uh, both on YouTube itself and through email, uh, how the readings resonate so predictively in your own lives. Thank you for those. I love reading those. So keep them coming and don't stop. And um, so these are general readings. Make sure you check your rising and your moon sign as well. You may find that your primary sun sign uh, doesn't resonate quite as predictably for you some months. But many of you, like I do, often find that my sun sign may resonate in certain areas of my life. My rising sign may resonate for other areas of my life and so on and so forth for the moon sign. So make sure to check all three. Thank you to those of you who continue to keep me so uh, incredibly busy these days with personal one-on-one -on -one readings. I thank you for the trust that you place in me to interpret and intuit the cards for you. It is always an honor and a pleasure uh, to read for you and personal readings, of course, are my favorite things to do. So, and if any of you are interested in a personal reading with me, you can click on the about sign, the little about button on my YouTube channel's homepage that will give you a little more information and detail on myself, the services I offer, and my contact information. You can email me directly at Maggie, the number one, McGuire at gmail.com. I would be delighted to work with you. So send me an email and we'll go from there. I am using my Gilded Tarot card deck, and even though we're focusing more on the last half of the month and the month in its entirety, I'm still going to be using the uh, same eight card spread uh, for the remainder of the month with an additional ninth card as your crowning card, uh, overall general theme, feeling, and energy over the reading. So let's get right into this. This is for Cancer for July 2016, mid-month water sign of cancer the crab my watery emotional cancers what does the remainder of july hold for you cancer cancer july 2016 mid-month god spirit angels guides show me the energies of the water sign of cancer july 2016 mid-month July 2016, mid-month. Okay, we begin with the star card, beautiful card to begin with, followed by the nine of pentacles, the six of wands, followed by the moon in reverse, the four of wands, followed by the page of cups, the ace of wands, followed by the ten of pentacles, Wow, great reading, Cancer. And from the bottom of the deck, overall general theme and energy is the world. What a beautiful, bright reading, Cancer. You have one, two, three major arcana cards, some beautiful, bright cards, a lot of wand energy, a lot of manifesting energy. I feel like a lot of you are going to be beginning, manifesting something, beginning something new, but it's got a lot of creative energy, manifesting energy, excitement, enthusiasm, passion. Okay, let's begin. It also looks like a month for just triumph, success, overcoming things as well. We have the Six of Wands, victory, the world, being on top of the world, success, self-empowerment. It's almost as if you guys have like just finished accomplishing something that's a really big deal and you're gearing up to actually begin to put something into reality. We begin with the Star card, one of my favorite Major Arcana cards in the deck, Major Arcana, Fingers of the Divine, as I like to call them, because they do represent those divine energies coming down to lead, guide, protect, uh, sometimes help remove things from our life. The Star card is primarily a card of faith, hope and faith. If I could attach only two words to this card, it would be those two, hope, faith. It is a uh, one of the wish fulfillment cards of the tarot. It represents a beautiful, bright, 
path and future laid out in front of you uh, and being able to have hope and faith in the promise and potential of that um, fulfillment of what we want, every good thing for us. But again, hope and faith in that. You can see that this woman is pouring her pitchers out into this lake completely pouring them out in perfect faith and faith and perfect confidence that her pictures will be refilled because the source is limitless again hope and faith there's also a strong sense of peace restoration and healing uh, from this card it's I've seen this card come up for people who have uh, maybe gone through a long illness and are just beginning to feel better uh, people, it, it represents having hope again again there, there is a strong theme of having overcome something being triumphant over something and having hope and faith the Sun is shining again and life is full of beauty and potential and possibility hope and faith in a bright new future wish fulfillment about what well independent self-sufficiency and self-empowerment is what you're being asked to have faith in because that star card is paired with the nine of pentacles now pentacles is governed by the element of earth so pentacles is a suit all about things in our earthly tangible material environment our physical realm and often it's about things like money finances property real estate job career etc tangible visible things we can see and touch and feel in spirituality and love and romance it represents tangible visible uh, results from efforts that we put into something the Knight of Pentacles is a card of, it's a card of abundance, prosperity. It can be a card of wealth. Uh, you can see that this, it's a card primarily of enjoying the fruits of one's labors that you've worked for yourself, which is exactly what this woman is doing. You can see she's in her garden. She's wearing a dress that looks expensive. It has that sheen of silk about it. She's very well put together, obviously able to take good care of herself. She's standing in the middle of her beautiful garden, enjoying a lot of the physical wealth around her as symbolized by all these beautiful things and this wealth of pentacles. This is a woman, though, who has that extra special sense of empowerment that comes from knowing that all of the things that she's enjoying, she has earned herself. No one's handed this woman anything on a silver platter. Everything that she's enjoying, she has worked for herself. She has built up for herself. Um, it's a card, again, of enjoying the fruits of your labor. It's independent, self-sufficiency, self-empowerment, um, really having worked hard for something and being successful at it, building up a good, solid, stable foundation for yourself and enjoying uh, the results of that. So paired with the star card cancer, it's about continuing to have hope and faith in that. For a lot of you, the sun is starting to shine again. For a lot of you, you've reached or are close to reaching the energy of the Nine of Pentacles or once again, have hope and faith that that is a reality if you continue to work for it. Again, I feel like a lot of you have overcome something um, or you've just finished a body of work and everything that you hope for and wish for is starting to feel like it's an actual reality, like this is something that can actually come Come true for you now next to that we have the six of wands victory triumph paired with the moon in reverse so the six of wands now wands is governed by primarily the element of fire and secondarily by the element of air uh, so that's a very dynamic combination and the suit of wands is a very dynamic suit it's action oriented forward moving the suit of wands is all about change movement action power forward momentum wands represents um, manifesting energy create creative energy it's that almost primal drive that we have to uh, create to manifest which I feel like a lot of you are doing to put our thoughts and dreams and ideas into reality forward movement action this is a card of triumph of acknowledgement of being recognized for all of your hard works and being celebrated for that um, which is a lot like the nine of Pentacles although the nine of Pentacles is more about self-realization and, and acknowledging yourself for all the work you've done this is acknowledgement and celebration in a more public way by other people recognizing all the work you put into something acknowledging you for that it's a card of triumph and victory over something over struggle as well which again that energy of the star card as well it's like you've 
you've either been through something and successfully weathered it, cancer, or you've put in a lot of long, hard effort into something that's really beginning to pay off, a dream you've had, a goal that you have. It looks like this month, it feels like you can, it can actually become reality. You're putting that manifesting energy behind it to turn it into reality, being celebrated for that triumph, success, victory. And victory over the path becoming more clear. Uh, that Six of Wands is paired with the Moon in reverse. Major Arcana card in the upright position. It can represent, it can represent a spiritual enlightenment, but it often represents feeling like you don't exactly know the path in front of you. Things being hidden from you. Feeling like you don't have enough information. Feeling like perhaps you don't know what direction to go in or where to put roots down. Um, kind of the mysterious sort of uh, just just not knowing actually where you're at. Again, for some of you, it can represent spiritual enlightenment or a coming, a slowly dawning sense of spiritual enlightenment. For some of you, this may represent a spiritual path. But you got it in the reverse position, which typically means not necessarily a reversal, um, but an overcoming of that energy. And I feel like for a lot of you, since it looks like you've successfully overcome something or completed something, you now have this direction in your life, um, the belief, the action, the intent, the desire, the resources, you know, the path is no longer hidden from you. You, you have a sense of direction, a sense of, of where you're going, a, a victory. You, you're overcoming this energy. It's like, again, you're manifesting something in a very active, independent, self-sufficient, self-empowering sort of way, um, leading you to success. It's like, again, it's like a dream, uh, something that you've dreamed for, hoped for, it's like this month, all of a sudden, you, you really feel like it's within your grasp. You're beginning to manifest it. There's new beginnings coming this month as well. For a lot of you, this is right on the heels of, of either completing a, 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 a lot of effort you put into building something up to where you're at now and overcoming a tremendous sense of challenge. Um, or even a negative situation from your past being successful about that. Again, forward moving energy. Turning dreams into reality is kind of what I'm getting to. Like this month, you're beginning it. But it's a month of cel it's, it's celebration the next few weeks. You're being acknowledged for something you've done or overcome or both. It's leading you on a path of, of abundance, prosperity. Um, and it's about, again, celebration for that, celebration with other people and some unexpected blessings coming too. Because, <coughs> excuse me, right next to that, we have the Four of Wands paired with the Page of Cups. There's so much wand energy here which can point towards career too. And I feel like a lot of you, even though there's, well, there's two Pentacles cards, um, three wands, one cups. For some of you, this could be love and relationships, but I'm getting like it's more career, job, financial. For some of you, this could be a project of some kind, a goal of some kind. Um, for some of you, it's, it's artistic pursuits. For some of you, it's the beginning of something that you're doing with other people, beginning of an organization or forming a group that's oriented towards a cause of some kind. That's interesting. I just kind of picked that up. But <clears throat> celebration, again. You've completed something, you're celebrating something, overcoming something, and you're you're pushing for a new beginnings towards making something into actual reality, celebrating that with other people. The Four of Wands is a card of just that. It's, it's another card that has this similar energy of celebrating the fruits of your labors, enjoying uh, the fruits of your labors, enjoying all the hard work you've put into something, uh, being recognized and acknowledged for that, and um, celebrating that, getting ready for an event, a party, or perhaps planning one. And it's something you're already looking forward to, celebrating with other people, the culmination of a body of, of work or having overcome something, maybe a combination of the two. Again, it's it's like something that you've worked towards and had to overcome a lot. It's getting closer and closer or it's actually arrived and you're celebrating this now and other people who have watched you or been there helping you, supporting you, celebrating with you. But there's still unexpected things uh, coming your way. The energy of the Four of Wands is, is 
it's celebrating something that you're already aware of that you already know is coming that you're looking forward to but it speaks of something else attached to it that you're not expecting that is beneficial and a blessing as well it's kind of like an ordinary get together or an ordinary sort of celebration and party turning out to be actually quite spectacular or something quite wonderful happening there so more unexpected blessings coming your way and I feel like they're coming with this celebration and it could be that some of you attend a party or give a party where actually something happens that's unexpected out of the blue but that proves to be extraordinarily um, fortuitous for you for some of you I'm just getting some of you may be getting proposed to or planning on proposing at this party or event of some kind um, or there may be other news coming or a message coming at in or around a celebration of some kind either that you're planning on going to or planning to have yourself so don't turn down any invitations for the next few weeks cancer because that four of wands is paired with the page of cups which can represent pages can represent young people or actual children but they most often represent messages or messengers and what would this page be delivering a message about well it's the page of cups cups is governed by water which is a suit about emotions feelings it's also a suit that can represent love and relationships it's about our heart our feelings so again paired with this four of wands cancer you're going to be going to a celebration, an event, a party, or just a get together of some kind. There's probably a celebratory air about it, celebrating a, an event, a wedding, an anniversary, a birthday party, a summer barbecue, something, a graduation event. There's going to be some kind of message there brought, or you're going to receive messages or something like that, which are very happy. They make you feel very happy, emotionally fulfilled. Again, I'm getting proposals. So whether the, the giving or receiving some of you are going to be uh, it's going to be about proposing marriage um, or moving in together or something like that it's an emotional message and it come and it's very happy but it's a very unexpected thing as well in the midst of something that you're already celebrating which is wonderful and where does this all take us at or towards the end of July 2016 cancer new beginnings new beginnings again there are, are about building up a solid stable foundation for yourself I do feel like for a lot of you whatever this is is around a job a career uh, a project that has to do with money some of you it could be property uh, career job finances um, tangible stuff abundance you've worked really hard towards this thing reaching a point where your dream has come true or it's close it's within your grasp enjoying the fruits of your labor but at the end of the month it's beginning either something completely new or beginning the next leg of something that's new which has the ability to be even more abundant and more prosperous but laying a foundation for a long long time to come we have the ace of wands here paired with the ten of pentacles you've gone from the nine of pentacles at the beginning to the ten of pentacles beautiful transition the ace of wands again it's new beginnings aces represent one the potential promise the beginning of something the unfolding of something which needs to be acted on because aces represent seeds and seeds of course contain the whole world in their tiny little selves but they do need to be planted fertilized watered so that they can grow to the full uh, the full manifestation of what they contain in their potential otherwise the ace of wands would just kind of fizzle out as an initial idea or initial beginning that if it isn't carried through will just disappear but this ace of wands is about a new beginning and it, there's a lot of manifesting energy creative exciting enthusiastic the beginning of something again I think whatever this message is or this uh, this unexpected thing that happens at in or around an event of some kind leads to these new beginnings the beginning of uh, a new path or the next leg of something and it could be the message that some of you it'll be that you've gotten the resources or the go-ahead or the yes or the offer um, that you want that begins this new path but again it's manifesting it's exciting enthusiastic passionate what is it about it is about a, another a higher level of prosperity abundance success finances too but one that has the ability to be solid and foundational and there's a theme of home and family with this ten of Pentacles as well it can represent family business family home family estate playing out in a long way like the kind of business that would be successful that you could hand off to your kids or your grandkids so again a strong theme 
home family celebration increased prosperity overcoming and being successful at it uh, and self-empowerment because you've realized how much you've done and how much more you're capable of echoed by your crowning card which is the energy that lies over this entire reading a major arcana card of the world I don't know what you guys did or overcome or got to, but you're going to have to tell me because it's beautiful. And again, very forward moving, but action oriented. The world. Another card of self empowerment, self awareness of what you've both what you've accomplished and what you may still yet be able to accomplish. It's like the sky is the limit. It's about being on top of the world. But deeper than that, my analogy for the world card, which I'm sure those of you who followed me heard before, but bear with me one more time. It's the world card represents being you've climbed a mountain, you've reached the top, you're at the pinnacle. And uh, it's not to say there aren't other mountains. This is life. There's always a mountain to climb. But this mountain, whatever this issue is, cancer, has been of particular significance for you. You've really triumphed over something. And you're at the top of this mountain that you've just succeeded at climbing. And you're looking back over the path at everything it took at all the times you wanted to give up that you didn't, all the successes, the failures, the triumphs, the defeats, everything that you learned, and all of a sudden it hits you that you made it. And you're filled with a sense of, of wonder and empowerment and embracing of your own ability and capabilities and power and wondering, wow, I wonder what else I could accomplish. And, and, every, and suddenly what you saw is maybe just dreams of what else you could do or have or be, suddenly, begin to seem like they're within your grasp and possible. Again, it's um, a fantastic reading, uh, Cancer, just absolutely beautiful. So I'm curious to know what this is. So as you guys are always really great with feedback, please let me know because it is absolutely wonderful. And again, for those of you for whom this doesn't resonate, because it's of course not going to resonate the same for everyone and it might not be job and career it could be other areas of your life too make sure to check your rising and your moon sign as well for additional guidance and clarity so cancer i hope you've enjoyed this reading and found it useful and uh if any of you are interested in a personal reading with me again you can click on the little about sign on my youtube channel's homepage, which will give you a little more information and detail on myself the services i offer and my contact information and you can email me directly at maggie the number one mcguire at gmail.com and we will go from there and uh I hope you have a fabulous rest of your July. It certainly looks like the majority of you are going to. And I will see you all in a couple of weeks for the August 2016 general readings. And until then, Cancer, as always, I wish you joy, peace, blessings, and a happy, happy life. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you soon. Bye.